Hey guys, welcome back. It's Ken from The Average Gamers, and my character is spinning around like an idiot. Woo! Woo! Okay. Uh, last time we uh, did some gathering, we mailed some letters, and we found Gulliver, which is absolutely awesome. So, in fact, let's check out the item that Gulliver sent us last time. It's a little tiger bobblehead. Uh, not the coolest item. Like, he usually gives, like, big, like, like, either Easter Island head things or coins from Asia and stuff like that. This is okay. Eh. I might sell it. <laughs> Just because it's not the coolest looking item, but... Hmm. Yeah, I'll pick that up for now. And I'll, well, let's see how much Tom Nook will offer me for it. If it's enough, I'll sell it. If not, I'll keep it in the house for now. Because I know Gulliver's items do really well with the uh, HRA. So, we'll see then. Hey, Ralph. How you doing today? Move. Is it Ralph or Rolf? Oh, Rolf. My, my bad. Sorry, dude. Again, go away, Rolf. I still don't trust Ralph. I'm still convinced he's a serial killer, demon hunter person. Nook's cranny. Hello, Mr. Nook. How much will you buy my thing for? What? Screw that, I'm keeping it. 580 bells. It's a ripoff. Alright, sell that. Sell my dragonfly. I got a bunch of shells here. Not bad, not bad. Okay, now I'm still playing on the same day as last time, so the red rock has not spawned again, so we can't go looking for money again from that. So I think I'm just going to be gathering shells and fruits for now. Which is the main way of getting stuff in this game in the beginning. Later on, you will get a lot more furniture. You can sell a lot more. There's more things to do. But right now, we're just doing the basics. Once we get our first house upgrade, then we'll start paying attention to the house and the furniture and whatnot. And once Tom Nook's building gets upgraded, we'll be able to do um, stuff there too. Because we'll have more items like the watering cans. We can do some flowering and stuff like that. It'll be interesting. It's a shame we only have cherry trees. Usually, um, whenever you get a letter from your mom, she'll in include like a fruit, like, oh, I found a new fruit today. Maybe you'll try that one. If we get any of those new fruits, I'm going to plant that right away. Because the more different fruit we have in the town, the much, um, it's worth a lot more than just the average cherries. Like right now, the cherries, if I want to, I can bring it to the island that Josh showed off in his one of his videos. If I drop all the cherries on, cherries on that island, the uh, islander would actually eat them all and drop tons and tons of bells. So if it's taking me a while to pay off my house loan, I may do that this episode, but I, I really doubt it. I think I'll be fine just gathering for now. Oh, if you notice, all these little uh, house signs, these are where potential houses of new villagers spawn in the future. So if you look at the map, right now we only have, oh, we only have a couple of villagers. Every time you see one of these little uh, signs right here, that means a new villager may show up there one day, which is really cool, I think. Back to Tom Nook. Again, this gets, I know this gets very repetitive, by like buying from Tom Nook and selling, but it's the staple of the game in the beginning, at least. So sell all the cherries and all the shells again. I'm going back to the house, I'm going to drop off the uh, raffle ticket in the bobblehead. Because right now they're just clogging up my inventory. Another 1,020, nice. So I'm already building up a nice collection of 7,872 bells. I wonder how much my loan is right now. Not my loan, my uh, my debt, anyway. After we stop by the house, we're going to go to the post office so I can pay off a little bit. Move! Move! Get off the bridge! <laughs> that ass. Well, I can't talk, but, yeah. <laughs> Oh, boys. Let me move that. I'm going to sell that. And let's move the Lunar Lander into the corner. Yeah, my house does not look too good right now. But, oh well. It'll get better. Oh, that's the orange box. It's a little wooden thing. Alright, and there's our guard. Tiger, just bobble its head. Perfect. Now you may have noticed I didn't drop off the lottery tickets. I'm gonna go back to Tom Nook and buy more stuff. So I, 
Il the lottery tickets actually stack on top of five, so I'm gonna stack them up a little bit before I drop them off in my house. So right now let's do a deposit. 17,000, okay, so if I donate all this, I'm almost there, well, 10,000 left. Let me just do 5,000 for now, because I'm going back to time to buy stuff. There we go. 12,400, not that bad. I was expecting it to be a lot higher. All right, back to Tom Nook to buy some stuff. I'm really hoping for some good wallpaper because if you look at my house, I had the bamboo rug and the, like, the plain gray walling. Not the best colors. Like, our house is really small right now. There's nothing I can do about that yet, but I want something good at least because those are just eyesores. So let's see what we got here. Ranch wall. Let me see it. Ugh. No, thank you. <laughs> Never mind. What about the floor? Oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's basically the same exact color as the floor already. You know what? I don't need this. I don't need you, Tom Nook. You were offering me ranch flooring and ranch wallpaper? No. I'm going to a place where I can make my own flooring, my own wallpaper. Now, in the game, there are ways of making custom patterns for your clothing, uh, flags, your door, um, your house, everything. And those are the Able Sisters. 